I'm too tired. I work too much. I'm, I'm stressed out. You know, my genetics, you know, there's no athletes in my family. So, you know, I can't do that. I'm going to wait till I'm at a better, healthier weight. Then I'll start working out. There's so, there's so many others. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of my fitness. You know, I'm afraid of what that looks like. So what I tell people is if they say they don't have time, which is the most common excuse I, he I hear, I don't have time. I work too much. We all work. We, we all work. And so I say, write down your schedule for the day. And when people see their schedule written down, they realize how much time they actually have in the day. Most people work eight to 10 hours a day. That leaves, what, 16 hours left, you sleep seven to eight hours, whatever that is for you, you've got some more hours in the day that you can take half an hour to an hour to work out. And then you find what's your optimal time frame, you know, time of day to work out. Um, for one attendee, that meant that she worked, you know, a night job from 4 p.m. to midnight and she said, I don't have time because I work from four to midnight and then I have to go to bed. And so I said, well, you go to work at four, you get off at midnight, go to bed and you get up, go to the gym at 2 p.m. That gives you time to work out and then go straight to work and you're energized and ready for work. So sometimes you just have to look at where your priorities lie and have somebody that can help you be realistic with what those priorities are. It's just been incredible watching, you know, how women have shown up and how they're gonna leave with hopefully more tools that they can use in their life. This is not something that I've seen out in the community um, where you tie in the spiritual piece with just women and the fitness exercise and the eating, like all under one umbrella. So yes, come join us, it'll be a blast.